Good day everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your Outlook crashes frequently in your Windows PC. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, I would suggest you to go ahead and check if there are any Outlook processes running in your Windows. To do this, you will have to open the Task Manager. Either you can press Control, Shift and Escape key on your keyboard or else you can do a right click on the start button and then click on task manager once you have the task manager open you may go ahead and click on details under details look for outlook.exe this is the process uh, which would run if you have uh, outlook uh, running on your computer so all you have to do is you will have to do a right click and click on end task click on end process Close this window, you may or else you may also go and minimize this window and then try to open Outlook and check if your issue has been resolved. Now, in case if you're not able to launch Outlook or if your Outlook crashes, the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and open Outlook in application safe mode. Now to open Outlook application safe mode, you can press, you will have to open the run window, you can press Windows and R key simultaneously or else you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you will have to go ahead and type outlook space forward slash safe so what this will do is this will go ahead and open application in safe mode which will disable all the third party add-ons which are associated with the outlook or or which are installed along with the outlook so once you click on ok you will get a prompt to open Outlook with the profile. You may go ahead and click on OK. And this should open Outlook. Now, if you are able to open Outlook and if your Outlook works perfectly fine in application safe mode, it is an indication that it's a third party application which is causing a problem. Now, if you are able to open Outlook in application safe mode, there are certain applications or add ins which you need to disable. To get the issue fixed to do this or to disable the add-ons or to find which add-on is causing a problem what you can do is you can click on the file at the top left corner and then click on options or you may click on manage add-ins so I will if you have manage add-in option you may go ahead and click on manage add-ins otherwise um, you can go ahead and click on options you may click on add-ins under add-ins, you may go ahead and click on manage com add-ins and click on go. So basically these are all add-ons or add-ins which are installed along with the Outlook. So to click on go, now to disable the add-ins, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and uncheck all the add-ins which are listed under com add-ins. Since you're not sure which add-in is causing a problem, as a first step, go ahead and disable all the add-ins. Or else, in case if you don't need any of these add-ins here, what you can do is you can highlight one of the add-in and click on remove. Um, you can remove all the add-ins and that should literally fix the problem. So once it is done, you may click on OK, close Outlook and then open Outlook and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if you are able to open Outlook and work with the Outlook, you should be uh, and Outlook works fine. You don't have to try the next step. So basically, it's a clear indication it's a third party add in which was causing a problem and after disabling those add ins you are able to open outlook and that should not uh, make a difference or interfere your normal working of outlook now like i said if you are able to disable add ins and if your outlook works fine you don't need to try the next step now as a next step uh, what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and run a repair for Microsoft Office to run a repair what you can do is you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you can go ahead and type app viz dot cpl so basically this is a command which will open the programs and features uh, for your Windows so this will show all the programs which are installed on your computer so under programs and features you will have to go ahead and look for the office you can go in and click on change to repair office in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on ok or continue on the screen 
Now, once you have a repair option, you would uh, once you click on repair, you would see two options here, either quick repair or an online repair. Now, for the best results, I would suggest you to go with an online repair. Now, the online repair would take a longer time than expected. Now, what this will do is this will try to download some of the missing files um, from your computer from the internet and then do a repair. So click on online repair and wait for the repair to complete. Once the repair is completed, you may go ahead and restart the computer and try to open Outlook. That should fix the problem. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the next step of what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to run a repair or run a tool to uh, fix a problem. So what you will have to do is you will have to go to a website for Microsoft Diagnostic, which you would find uh, from this link and it will also mention this link in the video description so you will have to go to the website which says uh, support and recovery assistant you will have to click on outlook now under this section choose the uh, issue what you are facing or else uh, what you can also do is you may go ahead and click on download once you click on download wait for the file to be downloaded and then click on setup.exe, the file which you have downloaded. So this will go ahead and check for a couple of uh, basic prerequisites. Wait for the steps to complete. Now under this section, you may go ahead and click on install. So basically what you're doing here is you're trying to run a Microsoft support and recovery assistant setup. So this might take uh, about a minute or two and also it also depends on the speed of the internet. Once the download is complete, uh, it would go ahead and try to launch the application. Now verifying application requirements. Now this might take about a few minutes. Wait for uh, this to complete. If you get a user access, uh, end user slices agreement prompt, you may go ahead and click on I agree. Now under this section, you may go ahead and select Outlook because that's where you're having a problem, right? So you may go ahead and select Outlook and click on Next. Now you may go ahead and choose what issue you're facing. So uh, in case if you're not able to launch Outlook, you may go ahead and select Outlook won't start. Otherwise, uh, you, uh, you may go ahead and choose the option here. So for the issue what we are facing, um, it could uh, the best match is Outlook stops responding or freezes or Outlook keeps crashing with the uh, message stop working. Click on next. And if you get a prompt which says, is this the affected machine? You may go ahead and click on yes. And here it would give you a prompt. So you would be prompted you to uh, sign into your Microsoft account. You may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have all the options selected, uh, what I would suggest you to follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the screen and then uh, check if your issue has been resolved. Once it is done, once you have completed uh, all, all the steps, uh, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to go ahead and restart the computer and then try to open Outlook and see if your issue has been resolved. In case if you're still facing a problem, as the next step, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.